and welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to answer the question why we cannot travel at the speed of light. Well, let's take a look here. equations that are going to play a role. This one here came from Einstein. Einstein realized that something happens to the mass of an object when it begins to travel really fast. The faster it travels, the more mass it gains, and we'll get to that in just a moment. A second equation we got from Einstein is that there is a relationship between the amount of energy we need and the amount of mass that an object has, and in this case, the amount of mass that an object will gain. The third equation comes from classical physics, where the kinetic energy is equal to one-half mv squared. By the way, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, which equates to 300,000 kilometers per second and 186,000 miles per second, which is quite fast. That's from here to the moon in just over a second. Let's just say that it would be possible to travel at the speed of light. Let's get rid of all the special relativity effects that matter has when it travels fast. So you jump in a spaceship, let's say the spaceship has a mass of 100,000 kilograms, you take off into space, you turn off the afterburners, you pick up speed until you travel at the speed of light. Well, that takes a lot of energy, even if we ignore all the relativistic effects. The amount of energy that we need is one half the mass times the velocity squared, and since C is the, the speed of light is such a large velocity, when we square it, we get a really big number, we would need this much energy. Wow, how much energy is that? Assuming that you have a typical power plant that produces 500 megawatts, 500 million joules per second of energy, how long would it take for that power plant to produce the energy required to produce this much energy? Well, it turns out it would take 9 trillion seconds or 285,000 years. The energy you need to take a spaceship and get it up to the speed of light would require the energy of a 500 megawatt power plant to produce energy for 285,000 years to do so. It's still theoretically possible, but it would take a lot of energy. But the real problem is not that it takes a lot of energy to go that fast, it's that something strange happens. When you start moving faster, an object begins to gain mass. For example, when an object starts traveling at 50% the speed of light, it will have gained 15% more mass than when it started, which means the spaceship now weighs 115,000 kilograms instead of 100,000. By the time you get up to 86.6% of the speed of light, you now have twice the mass that you started with. The spaceship will now have a mass of 200,000 kilograms instead of 100,000 kilograms. By the time you get to 99% of the speed of light, the mass of the spaceship will now be seven times as much. The mass will now be 700 times or 700,000 kilograms. Where does that mass come from? Well, Einstein realized that E equals mc squared, it just simply requires energy. Let's say that you want to travel at 99.999% of the speed of light. The mass would now be 224 times your original mass. The amount of energy you would need to travel that fast at 99.999% of the speed of light would be so much energy that that same 500 megawatt power plant, which is an average sized power plant, it would require 128 million years of production of energy of that one power plant to produce enough energy to make the spaceship go so fast that it can gain that kind of mass. But it doesn't stop there because we're not quite yet at the speed of light. To get to the speed of light, the mass would just continue to increase and finally in the limit, as the mass, as the speed reaches the speed of light, the mass would now become infinite. Infinite mass would mean an infinite amount of energy, which means you simply can get there. Notice this equation. When v becomes equal to c, v squared divided by c squared is equal to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and m sub naught, which is the original mass divided by 0, becomes infinite. When v reaches c, the speed of light, the mass would become infinite, the energy required to get up to that speed to produce that mass is infinite, and therefore it is not possible to ever, ever reach the speed of light. And that's the answer.